Three. Can't be too safe out there. So, uh, hello and welcome to our first episode of SGC. Uh, so you may be wondering what exactly is SGC or some good commissioning. And you probably also have been wondering during the pandemic why there isn't a news program dedicated entirely to the happenings of the Building Commissioning Association. At this point, you're also probably wondering, Dan, who's asking this question? And the answer is absolutely no one. Doesn't mean we're not going to give it to you, though, folks. Uh, at this point, you probably realize I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to do my best to slip in and out of my best TV radio personality voice to keep you engaged for the next 12 to 18 minutes. Uh, like yourselves, uh, we are saddened by the cancellation of the upcoming annual BCA conference in Phoenix, Arizona, um, but are ecstatic about the announcement for the virtual conference uh, starting on July 27th with our opening plenary, which is free to everyone. Uh, with keynote address speaker uh, Kevin, who has Dr. Kevin, who has too difficult of a last name to even try to attempt, who is a, a leading indoor air quality expert. You may have seen him on Good Morning America, uh, along with other news programs, and he is a professor of architecture at the University of Oregon. Um, we also have new conference tracks starting every Monday in August, so make sure to check out the BCA website for the latest updated agenda. Uh, and information on how to register and attend all the conference tracks and sessions and make sure to tune in for the free opening plenary again on july 27th uh, we here at the bca have been working incredibly hard and late hours to bring you completely original content just like this segment here uh, which has been our idea it's not a replica of anything so don't ask anyone else about it uh, during today's episode, which was definitely all filmed at the same time, uh, regardless of my wardrobe changes, um, we're going to be talking with members of the BCA Executive Committee, uh, including Ryan Lean, to find out what exactly is going on with the BCA podcast, uh, checking in with former president and resident cyclist John Villani, who will update us from the front lines of the pandemic of uh, commissioning during the pandemic, as well as updates on the BCA classroom training and checking in with Tony DiLonardo. Um, so stay tuned. And, and folks, I got to apologize for the low budget of this segment here. Uh, I actually spent all of our money on this presidential wrestling belt just to comm uh, commemorate my year as president, along with these uh, incredibly expensive weighted jump ropes to try and stave off that COVID-15. So apologies on that one, but stay tuned for some great content. Thanks. I'm not hearing you. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, Virt virtual call jokes. I got, I got like four more other ones, but that, that's about it. So. And now I look down, and now uh, you're seeing my bald head. Well, how are you, man? I've been like, I, I'm not surprised. I haven't heard from you in so long. Yeah, yeah. Finally got out of the, uh, got got out and away from the airport. So uh, I've been been quarantined for a couple months, but it's good being out and about and back in the real world. So I'm glad to see you. Um, I guess that's why those podcasts took forever to upload, right? Stuck in that yeah. airport hotel. What had ha what had happened? So what what had happened was, uh, yeah, yeah. So <sighs> nothing, no, no, no response. No, okay, no, 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 nothing happened, as you can tell, based on the uh, on the duration in between podcasts. Nothing happened. So and so, when is that contractor podcast coming out? That that one still hasn't made it. I, again, what what had happened was so uh, th that's actually that that's in we'll call it production. So we'll, that's in pre post editing production, making sure we're not dropping any f bombs. But other than that, it's uh, it's 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 close and ready to to be released. So, so uh, you know, think about this more. Maybe the podcast thing um, isn't working so well right now. How about we do like vlogging? Are you just making up words? What's a what's vlogging? I, I don't know. The millennials taught me that, but uh, um, it's something like we're doing now, right? We're just videotaping, talking, because apparently I could get you doing this. So maybe maybe this is a new enterprise we should kind of enter into. Okay. What do you uh, what are, what are you thinking? I mean, it seems seems pretty simple. It's pretty uh, pretty common sense. Yeah, I'm thinking about just doing like what we're doing now and maybe we could roll in. I mean, we do have an upcoming conference coming up, right? So maybe we could roll in some conference ideas and, you know, do some of these and release them. And uh, you know what? I got a great idea. Why don't we just reach out to some of the um, 
some of the presenters in the upcoming conference and see if they want to join us and, you know, do some spoilers for, for the upcoming conference. And so we could get the, uh, get the word out a little better. All right. That's a, that's a great idea. Those are the only kind of ideas I have, Dan. Oh, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 BCA uh, president elect. We got Ryan lean over here. So thanks. Thanks Ryan. Uh, look forward to uh, putting some of these together with you and uh, we'll be re reaching out to some of you conference speakers in the next, couple weeks see if we can get some of these vlogs going great all right good to see you dan i'll see you in three months all right, <laughs> all, right <bye. laughs> all right folks uh coming to us today from the front lines former bca president mr john villani how you doing today john i'm doing pretty good pretty good you'll uh you'll hear a little bit of my story right now thank you dan so uh, i'm going to talk a little bit about some healthcare and uh commissioning healthcare and my experiences okay great so for a month or so through March and April, I was working on healthcare projects all over the country to prepare and manage for the surge of COVID patients and making patient rooms negatively pressurized. It was extremely fast paced and hectic and like nothing I'd actually ever worked on. Then on June 2nd, on a beautifully beautiful and dry day along a backcountry road, which runs next to a farmer's field, there was suddenly water all over the road. And in a fraction of a second, I went from being a healthcare commissioning provider to a healthcare patient. I was in and out of consciousness being put in the back of an ambulance and brought to the regional trauma hospital after a high-speed bicycle crash. I remember thinking two things. First, where the heck did all the water come from? So, so John, I gotta stop you right there. We were actually able to get a police sketch of the uh, the local farmer. So we just want to show you that, so you can see your you know known assailant. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty pretty generic looking guy. Uh, I don't think I don't think we have any luck finding that guy. So quickly, let's uh, let's move on. Okay, okay. Well, the second thing that I got to uh, think about was that this was actually one of the hospitals I've worked on in my past. I knew, first off, where the majority of the COVID patients were actually being located on the upper patient floors. I also knew where the isolation rooms were on the other patient floors. And these all seem to be relevant things an engineer thinks about when becoming a patient and hoping that all the protective environments were working right. What we do is so important to help protect the frontline workers. One of the nurses that took care of me after the accident explained that she'd actually gotten COVID from working in the hospital that I was now lying in. Commissioning is where theory meets reality. We get to test the theory and see if we've got it right, which is so important to protect the patients and the healthcare workers that take a risk each day going to work. Come and listen to our amazing panel of commissioning leaders and experts talk about their experiences working on rapid deployment healthcare projects in response to the pandemic. And please, always remember to wear your PPE, both on the job site and your helmet when riding your bicycle. Uh, well, thanks. Thanks, John. thanks, John. We, we, we're glad to see you back in, back in good spirits and we look forward to that uh, healthcare panel. Uh, you and I will be sitting in on that, so it's gonna be a real great session. Look forward to talking to you then and, uh, and stay safe and uh, make sure you put on your helmet, all right? Absolutely. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, John. Be well. Okay, uh, here we are at Some Good Commissioning, checking in with Tony DiLonardo. How are you doing today, Tony? I'm doing real well, Dan. You know, there's only one problem, though. I, ha I need some guidance because, you know, I need to go online and, and get something. And I'm a member of the Building Commissioning Association. Who's this? Hey, guys. What were you talking about? We were just talking about training and where to get it. And uh, you know, in-person training classes have been canceled. What do I, what am I to do? Yeah, we've preserved the essence of the our in-person classes on a Zoom, just like this. You mean a real person like yourself will be uh, will be uh, presenting? This person, yeah, yep, and Craig Hawkins. Wow, Craig Hawkins. I've heard of him, the Batman. The other. Uh, <laughs> of commission he is a superhero <laughs> he's got some superhero stories but yeah we're doing these uh, online uh, virtual trainings now so we've taken our in-class uh set it up just like we would interactive you can ask questions we can talk about things 
keep things moving like normal. We get into some good stories and discussions sometimes, but same slides, same thing. You just get to train from your home gym. So I'll be able to get PDUs and get uh, that I need for additional training for my certification. This is all. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we have a better format now too. To be able to uh, interactive, not just a, a, a slide presentation that you have to review on your own with no interaction. Nope, nope, but you still get the slides and you still get the content like always. And I get to talk to you, the gurus of commissioning to help me along. And it's, and it's gonna go a lot better than this call right now, <laughs> is it, hopefully, so, okay. The interaction probably will go better. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm impressed. And um, you know, by the way, since you guys are superheroes, do you have a comic book out? You mean like this? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. That is the building. And is that the building commissioning handbook that you were part of uh, creating? Yeah. yeah. It's got a great existing building chapter. Well, I'm going to sign up and I understand I can go to the website and you have to go and then click on in-house training and then it'll show me all the, where I could register to do all the online training. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep, bcxa.org, as always, just make sure you go to the in-classroom training. That's where the registration links are. Well, you know what? You'll see me probably at the next class. So, thanks, Tracy. <laughs> thanks, <Tony. laughs> See you guys. Yeah. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful sunny day here in San Francisco, right near Chase Center. Look at that. Check it out. Look at that view. Back to you, Dan. Thanks for the update, Lynn. Here in New York, we're having uh, sunny skies with some intermittent showers uh, just throughout the day. Up, oh, it looks like here comes one now. Uh, it's right off in the in the distance. So, there, there, there it is. Oh man, it sure is wet today. Oh, oh, looks like it uh it calmed down a little bit, so that's good. So, uh, let's just go checking with Jesse. Jesse, how you doing? Uh, oh, here's another one. Well, here Jesse, back to you in in Canada. Thanks. Thanks, Dan. It's still snowing here. All right. Uh, hey, guys, coming to us to tell us a little bit about our upcoming uh, BCA conference. We have Tom Poling and Jesse Sakura. How are you guys doing today? Doing great, Dan. Thanks. Yeah, doing good. So obviously, there's been a lot of changes this year, and uh, we'd like to like to hear about it, about you know how excited you guys are and just everything we can expect with this uh, this new format. Yeah, you know, in the world, in the words of uh, Fresh Prince, where I, our world got flipped, turned upside down this year. So uh, we, uh, you know, we were all driving towards a, a traditional conference in Phoenix in September. And just based on feedback from the membership and the way things were going, we just felt like, you know, that we needed to go to a virtual format, you know. So it really, it really compressed what we were trying to do and uh, uh, really locked us in on, on you know, we, this year we decided to move everything up, you know, into, uh, uh, into doing a track a week, uh, in, uh, in August. So it's, it's like manic Mondays, this, this <laughs> every Monday in August, something's going on, uh, with our conference. So, uh, we're a lot of scrambling, but we're excited to try to see how it all comes together. Yeah. Tom and Dan, I mean, I remember us sitting in a couple of board meetings a few months ago thinking, what are we going to do? You know, we, we knew a new normal was coming down. We knew we wouldn't be able to do our in-person conference, which, you know, we've been doing that for over 20 years. And, and uh, I thought it was uh, really exciting how the board and staff all got behind this idea of let's not, let's not step away from training in this time, but actually let's look at how can we make sure we're getting the content to our members and non-members on what is commissioning and, uh, and where best practices around commissioning and not, not stepping away, but uh, stepping up to the challenge of how do we host a virtual conference and uh, how do we make this successful? So really excited by, uh, by all that uh, energy that we put into this and where it's going. Now we, we, you know, we're pulling together over 20 different, uh, different sessions and uh, you know, everything is, is either going to be live or we're going to record it. And so if you can't make, I mean, it's basically every Monday in August that we're going to roll out a session. So there's five of them starting on, uh, on August 3rd. We'll roll it every Monday till August 31st. Uh, and so if you, if you can make it for, uh, for those particular days, then, then we'll have the live presentation. We'll have the live, live Q&A. 
so you'll you'll get that kind of uh, that kind of uh, feedback, you know, to to the presenters. Um, but if for some reason you just can't make that particular Monday, you know, we're going to record it, and uh, as as the you know for the price of your of your registration, you're going to get over 25 hours of content uh, on demand. You know, so build out your training program for 2020 and 2021 all in one spot. So it's going to be it's going to be great. Great. And uh, can, can you give a quick overview? What are, what are the tracks? What, what tracks do we have this year? So five weeks, five Mondays in August, five big tracks. So um, the first one that's going to go out, as, as we always try to do for the conference, we're, we're always looking, you know, to try to, to do some what we call commissioning essentials. So things are that a little more you know, a little more basic, you know, so if we've got, you know, junior members uh, in, in your, in your companies, this track is, is right up their alley. So, you know, kind of basic training, basic, you know, process kind of stuff. Uh, we have a track on owner, you know, commissioning from the owner's perspective. So getting that, uh, that approach uh, of what owners are looking for. Um, so, uh, so that's, that's, uh, that's the one that's the first week. So, um, but Jesse, you're doing one on on ongoing building performance, uh, starting on the 24th. Yeah, you know we um, we published the ongoing commissioning best practices earlier this year, and uh, really excited to have a track kind of built around this idea of not just getting to those results through commissioning, but how do you sustain them? So, uh, good um, good opportunity for us to update everyone on the ongoing commissioning best practices and how it's been received in the marketplace and how it's being used, and then uh, launch from there into some great discussions with Lawrence Berkeley National Labs on their applications, uh, talking about a university up here in uh, in Canada. Canada, and then I uh, got a, an owner through uh, Brookfield Properties that's going to be talking about taking this whole idea to scale and uh, deploying it across a larger portfolio. And uh, yeah, and then uh, we've got the, the conference uh, sponsor for uh, for this one too, the Copper Tree Analytics. That's uh, really excited about their session too, and uh, incorporating machine learning into this idea of, of how we leverage technology into commissioning. So really exciting and not, not just what's going on today, but where this is going in the future. And then uh, I know the last Monday too, we're tying it off with a discussion around critical environments and uh, getting some great perspectives, not just from healthcare, but from data centers too. Two of the uh, really key industries, I'd say the frontline industries to this whole pandemic over the last few weeks is, you know, just how do we uh, care for and treat uh, people uh, from the healthcare perspective and, and how do we support that from a commissioning aspect. But uh Heck, the whole idea of a virtual conference and us talking right now, millions and millions of people are doing it every day. And so those data centers that are supporting this infrastructure are, are part of our front lines infrastructure as well. So getting some great uh, perspectives from providers and owners and uh, doing a, a actually a great, uh, really looking forward to that owner session with Facebook and Microsoft and aligned energy data centers, some of the big players in the space. And it's growing so quickly to, to see the owner's perspective on what do they need from a commissioning provider, I think is uh, something that we all can learn a lot from. Yeah, and, and I know we had some really great abstracts this year and, uh, you know, we had to we had to turn some away, but, you know, just that just shows how strong this year's conference is going to be and uh, some really, you know, engaging stuff. You know, the, the one session about, you know, utilizing, uh, you know, Python software to analyze your mm. incoming data. I, I'm really excited about that one. I feel like I got to take a, a Python introduction beforehand. <laughs> you know what the guy's talking about, but some some really good stuff. So you know, I'm really excited to be able to uh, have access to all these instead of just having to pick and choose uh, where you you know where you want to focus on that year. So I, I really think it's gonna be a great conference, and I, I appreciate you guys' effort and pulling this together. And I uh, can't wait to see it in execution. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Tom. Yep. All right. Yeah, well, uh, soon. I'll see you guys shortly. All right. See you soon. All right. Hey. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Dan. So now's the point in the show where we'd like to make sure to thank our sponsors for their continued support throughout the year and with our conference. And what better way to thank them than to exploit them for goods and or services. So as your president, I took it upon myself to reach out to them uh, and make sure that they would send me some, uh, some swag or stuff we all get. Uh, so think conference memorabilia uh, to make sure to commemorate me as president this year and uh, respect my uh, my impending authority. So, so thank you so much, guys. So a, a quick run through. Uh, thank you, Blue Rhythm, for these awesome hats. Going to be uh, rocking these all summer. So these are great. Thank you. Uh, same thing with uh, JBNB. Love this uh, sweet new era snapback, JBNB Field. 
It's an awesome looking hat. We appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Horizon Engineering, for these awesome face masks. Can't get enough of these out there. Can't be too safe. Thank you, Horizon. Um, we have this great high visibility facility grid t-shirt. If I ever get back out there on site, uh, then we also have this awesome mug from N8. Have a little hot cocoa or coffee in the morning. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Uh, we've got this awesome gift basket above and beyond from our friends over at Intertech. We've got a notebook, a mug, a pop socket, and some notepads. Great. Thank you, John. You got my vote for uh, president in a couple years as a result. And then uh, Jonathan Vaughn let me know you sent me something super special. So let's check this out. Okay, we got a, a golf ball, probably to commemorate the, uh, you know, the potential upcoming or the, uh, the lack of golf tournament. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping maybe it's a, a trip down there to visit him, play a little golf with Jonathan and, and those guys. And it's a, uh, it's a hospital bill. Um, so it's a hospital bill for Brian Walters. Uh, apparently, they're looking for me to pay for the time that he rolled that golf cart on his ankle. Uh, I'm going to have to say I had nothing to do with that. going to have to plead the fifth. And ignore I ever got this. So thank you very much, Jonathan. That never happened. So, but uh, really guys, in all seriousness, um, you know, and also, sorry, thank you to our, our good friends over at McKinstry for uh, allowing us to have Craig Hawkins uh, forever in perpetuity. So that's that's your gift all in itself. Uh, but really guys, thank you. You know, we, we appreciate all your continued effort. Uh, McKinstry, you know, JBMB, Horizon Engineering Associates, Page, Grumman Buckus, and then our track sponsors, Facility Grid, Blue Rhythm, innate inner tech and copper tree uh, we couldn't be doing any of this without all of you so we appreciate it and i'm looking forward to a great conference this year thank you from everyone here at the bca thanks for tuning in and checking us out uh, we look forward to seeing you at the upcoming virtual conference starting july 27th with the opening plenary uh, check out the bca website again for all updated information and agenda and how you can register um, we look forward to seeing everybody at this conference and all future conferences so uh, thanks and signing off BCA president, Dan Farina. Thanks, everybody. All right, let's just uh, close this out. All right, we're good. Okay, good. Time to get a quick workout in. Oh, 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 oh,